Hello and welcome again to Cliff Harvey, RC Planes. Thanks for looking in. Um, I've got the neoprene rubber I ordered for the to make wheels up for the Manuk. Uh, it's about 5 8 diameter, well 16 mil actually. And uh, I'm just going to start cutting out some blanks for the wheels. But it's quite hard rubber actually, I'm quite pleased with it. So I've got a metre of that, there'll be plenty. So and I'll make the rest from the scrap box. So I'll make a pair of wheels for £4.50 for the rubber and whatever this brass tube length uh, cost me. So I'll just bend you down. So just going to cut out these blanks. Okay, there's one cut. I'm going to speed ahead and cut the rest now, so see you in a minute. So it's four, t um, four blanks cut out. I'm just going to clean them up around the edges, make them all the same diameter, all the same dimensions, all the same size. Okay, now what I've got to do is to laminate them up, so two of those, two of those. Spread it on the back, didn't I? Copy it on. There we are then, guys. Two inner blanks ready for apply with outer blanks. So I'll go and weight those down and uh, see you soon. Been to the shed, I've cut out four fiberglass, um, four fiberglass discs, two eighth inch discs. My laminated half inch balsa discs. Blurred there, hope it wasn't too blurred, okay. The thing is with this slow setting epoxy is it can slide if you're not careful. So I've got a cunning plan. I'm going to put a little bit of super glue on the edge just to lock it. And then the inside. Yeah. pressure on that just to make sure it's really down and then I'm going to square it up again or round it up I should say see if I can lock it in position the super glue might be going a little bit off about time I've had it for a long time right guys there we are 
I've got two discs and they're drying nicely and they look pretty centered to me seems to be making pretty good contact all around so we'll let those uh, laminations dry chaps and uh, and then we'll come back to them and uh, maybe sand the disc and can't wait to get this stuff on them okay thanks for looking in again we'll continue to build in a minute like subscribe little spitfire icon down there like subscribe and press the little bell icon then you'll know when I upload which I'm about to do now while that glue sets so thanks for checking in see you shortly okay guys welcome back that's better okay guys welcome back Cliff RVRC planes um, let's bend you down and recap so I've, I've glued on the the uh, I've glued together the um, laminations for the wheels. This is embarrassing. I'm sure it's just glued right in the centre where the pivot is because it's squeezed out very slightly. If I can turn it. Oh, there you go. Look. What's difficult about that? Panicking okay so i've got the beginnings of wheels now i've got the balsa on the outside here because that's going to be just taken down a little bit to form an, uh, a nice cone shallow cone i'm just going to offer this up again look at that it looks gorgeous doesn't it <laughs> i think that just looks so good what I think I'm going to do is to try and glue this together as, as a tyre off of the wheel and then spring it over the edge to put it on and glue it on once it's in. I wonder if I can just drill straight down into it. Okay. So there's my centre hole. So now I need to sand down to that edge exactly as possible I'm going to use my little plane that's a better idea that takes it down nicely to the edge let's offer up the <coughs> tyre again I intend super gluing this on, it should stick really well I think. Got a little off cut here, let you can see the what's going to happen on the cross section. As usual, thanks for looking in, like and subscribe to the old channel if you wouldn't mind. Even if you do mind, subscribe anyway. Yeah, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot, bye. Wheel extraordinaire. Now guys, here we are again. So I've got on a little bit more now. I've got um, holes drilled for the middle. I'm thinking if I glue one in like that, then I can just cut it off flush. Just give it a bit of a shine. Like that. Then I'll just get the rest of it in. So I'll just press that in there. Let it come out the bottom. Push it back down again. And as long as that remains upright, that wheel will run reasonably true. As a eye, I'll just Put that behind it like that. That's pretty good. It's early days. I let it set off a little bit. It's 
not too bad but I don't want it to move so I'll have to keep checking how's that looking there bit of epoxy on the edge it doesn't look too bad say so the other one is uh, pretty much tight all the way through it's back <clears throat> Junior Hexor. Right, hack saw. Being careful of the face of the balsa. Come on. Oh, okay. okay. Good, good. I thought I would do is cover them in iron on film and then they'll be ready for painting before I get that far though I want to make the tires like that and pop that on there and I'll get there we go in and hold 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 all right guys let's try it the moment of truth. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, look at that, eh? Look at that. Let's try it out, shall we? That's a wheel. Look at that. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to... Uh, Take these off again and look through them like a fool. Okay, I digress. So I'll pause you there, and then I'm going to get the iron out and I'm going to finish the face of the wheels back shortly. Should stick to this pretty well. That'll be okay actually guys looks pretty good it's gone in quite tight the back edge will just have to be painted now guys i've just made a start on the wheels and uh, painted the back sides of them so now i'm going to paint the front done the backs just using humble enamel on top of the let's put that in there humble enamel on top of the um, gray primer Okay, and I'll do it. I'm going to pop that in there and do the other one. This time I'm going to go around the edge first. I'll sign off here and I'll just say thanks for watching. Thanks to all my subscribers that watch and leave lovely comments as well. That is appreciated. It makes for a much more interesting uh, comment section if people actually. Just make a little comment. Doesn't need to be a big deal. Just whatever. But just makes it more interesting. And gives you ideas as well. Okay guys, thanks for looking in and see you soon. The wheels are now dry and the tires are stuck. So All I have to do, look at that. Two wheels, two wheels, brass bearings. 
one's pretty true. It's not quite perfect, but hey, close enough. So I've got to put a collet. I've got to come out a little bit for the rubber band or bungee cord. So I need a collet on there, put a collet on there, and we're in business. Right guys, I think that'll conclude the undercarriage now for the time being at least. It'll all be assembled and you'll see it next on the plane. So thank you very much for looking in again. Um, I think I'll balance the prop now. Um, you'll see how I do that. And uh, the next job will be spraying the fuselage and wings with clear matte lacquer so guys thanks for looking in like and subscribe and press the little bell icon little uh, spitfire icon down there for subscribing or down below and uh, thanks for joining me it's been a blast hasn't it uh, but we're not there yet so stay tuned thanks bye morning people um, just thought you might be interested in seeing how I balance my prop on the manic build. Uh, let me turn the camera around. It is in the prop balancer. I like to spray my props. Um, but as you can see, it's just very slightly heavy on the left hand side. Not much to speak of. It bounces up. Look, it's very, very, very slightly heavy. No big deal. But once I've sprayed the prop, I paint the tips either yellow or in this case a sort of a nice bronzy colour and whichever tips heaviest like at the moment that one is so I'll just paint another layer of paint on that wing tip so it's let's have a look it's just I mean this is finely balancing there we go so it's balanced. A little bit of paint on the wing tip. The tip of the propeller makes all the difference. Or you can fine tune it just by sanding the back of the blade very slightly. There you go. Another Cliff Harvey wonderful tip to make your Sunday morning. Cheers guys. Like and subscribe.